Hey, what's happening everybody? Ben Daniel over here and I got another fragrance review today. I hope everybody's doing well, keeping well, spelling good, staying fresh, staying healthy. <laughs> so I want to welcome you all to my channel and to returning subscribers, welcome and thanks in advance for watching this video. So it's been quite some time since I did a review on the brand of Latafa and I got this one over here. I've had this, uh, let's see, since 2022, I think so, yeah, because it's a 2022 batch. And this is called Latafa Raid Lux. It's a very shiny box. Latafa have this uh, penchant for having over-the-top, amazing, and sometimes crazy presentations. But it's quite exquisite. Their packaging, their presentation is really exquisite. It's very elegant. So this is Latafa Raed Lux, and this is the box. It opens up like that. The bottle goes in there. Very clean cardboard box, shiny all around. There you go. The hologram sticker, 2022 batch, and this is the bottle right there i'm gonna put that aside because it's just too shiny for me <laughs> latafa rahid lux so they got three of them from the Raid collection over here the first one is just Raid silver because it has a silver cap this one is Raid lux because it has the blue cap and the third one is called Raid oud because it's kind of oud based so i'm gonna leave the bottle over there and this is the cap it's plastic it's got a little beautiful ribbon over here again lovely presentation very simple bottle easy to hold it's not too heavy and it's blue all, all around so if you're looking for the i hate stuff you should know which one is which this is the blue cap over here okay so let's get into the fragrance itself what it's about so as i i picked this up back in 2022 and I'm using it now in 2024. So it's been sitting there. It's the first time I got it. I sprayed a couple of times. And now I'm using it because it's lovely summertime and spring. It's not crazy hot summer. We have been blessed with some rains. And we're entering into the pre-monsoon season right here in South India. So let me give you the note breakdown for this one over here. It's quite a lot. The top notes are juniper, watermelon, pineapple, jasmine silk tree blossom and pink pepper that's a good start right there the mid notes are lavender herbal notes sage and cinnamon excellent i like that the base notes all right this is kind of strange ice that's it ice is a base note <laughs> strawberry amber musk vetiver vanilla sandalwood tonka bean and chestnut all right it has been classified as an aromatic, fruity, sweet, fresh, musky, woody, aquatic fragrance. And I agree with all of that right there because that's exactly what I get from this fragrance. So, Latafa being a Middle Eastern brand, cloning, I won't say it's a cloning company, but they make a lot of fragrances that are inspired and much more affordable alternatives to the big brands and the designer niche brands. What is this cloning? Well, I guess from the note breakdown or from what other reviewers have said, and I agree with that, it clones or it's an inspired alternative of Dolce and Gabbana K EDT, not the EDP. I have smelt Dolce and Gabbana K EDT, and I can say it's very, very close to this. Or I would say this one, Rahed Lux, is very close to Dolce and Gabbana or DNG K EDT. So, putting that aside, I'm not going to be doing a comparison of clones because I don't have that one. The reason I did not use this for quite some time and I just let it sit down in my cabinet to macerate and to mature is I had another DNG clone, uh, DNG K clone, EDT, and that was called Riff's Emperor. Uh, it was a straight bottle with, uh, with a cap on the top that looked like a king's crown. And that was a very laid-back, very simple, casual take on D and G K uh, EDT. Now, Riffs is also another Middle Eastern brand, but I wouldn't say that their quality and uh, their juice is top-notch like Latafa, 
Paris Corner and Fragrance World. Now, speaking about Latafa, they have a lot. And if you have seen one of my previous videos on my Dubai trip back in January, I visited the Latafa showroom, the official showroom in um, Dera, Dubai, which is like the perfume paradise in Dubai. And I had sampled a lot of stuff over there, but couldn't pick up much <laughs> because I, I wasn't sure whether I really needed all that. But it was just fun just sampling it. So saw this over there. I even sampled the Raed uh, Oud, which is excellent excellent stuff so what do i get from this personally to me i get a lot of sweetness i get a lot of freshness i get a lot of that spicy that musky and that fruity blend that's in this bottle to me to my nose the notes that stand out are the pi the pineapple the pepper the lavender the cinnamon the amber the vetiver and the sandalwood and tonka bean. I don't get the ice. I don't know what <laughs> ice smells like. <laughs> okay. But again, this is originally from Dolce & Gabbana because it's cloning Dolce & Gabbana K. Okay? So if you want to talk about ice, you probably go have to talk to Dolce & Gabbana why they put ice in their fragrance. I don't think they just dropped the ice cube in there. Again, it's a it's a concussion, it's a blend, it's a compound that they're using. But to my nose, it is so elegant, yet it's so casual. It's a very light juice. I'm not talking about the bottle, I'm just talking about the fragrance itself. It's light, but the performance is top-notch. I guess because I let it sit and macerate for about uh, two years and bringing it out now in 2024. So I aim to use a lot of this because compared to the Riffs Emperor, the other DNG clone, that was out there this is obviously top-notch much better blend and much more smoother and easier to wear that one i was having trouble with it but it, it was okay in terms of longevity and performance absolutely no complaints depending on the batch that you get um i'm not sure if this is still in production i'm sure you could probably pick them up from online stores from uh, Fragaholic run by Ashish Sharma of Freight Stock or other uh, distributors of Middle Eastern brands. But to me, longevity, I easily get six to seven hours on my skin and on my clothes, depending again on the conditions. Depends on your skin condition, depends whether you're indoors, outdoors, what kind of clothes you're wearing, if it's going to be uh, cotton or viscose or silk or polyester or a blend. But overall, six to seven hours each easily projection for an hour and a half to close to two hours of projection of this juice over here. So that's what I get on my skin, on my clothes in terms of performance. So to me, it is absolutely fresh. It is spicy. It is wonderful and elegant. And it's got that beautiful, sweet woodiness. Very rare to find a sweet woodiness blend in a fragrance. Uh, I guess a lot of fragrance out there. But Latafa, I've done a good job. And not only is it elegant and versatile, but it's so easy to wear with that great performance over there. So I find it classy. That's the term I would use. Elegant, classy, exquisite. Very simple fragrance. You would not think that DNG K uh, EDT or EDP would be a classic fragrance, but Latafa, I've taken it up a notch. A couple of reviewers have said that it's much better than the current batch of D and G K EDT and probably the EDP version. So absolutely, that's what the Middle Eastern fragrances do. They always make better versions of what they are cloning or inspired by. So when do I wear this or when is the best time to wear? Well, right now, it's an all-year-round fragrance. You could put this in winter, fall, right now, pre-monsoon season, uh, hitting up in South India. This is the best time to wear it. I go about, let's see, now I've been using it uh, since yesterday, and uh, I've gone about five to six sprays. You can go more, spray it all around. You. That doesn't matter. And you would get this amazing projection in siage, and it's a very pleasant smell. In the office, if you work a 9-to-5 in an office environment, in a corporate structure, very inoffensive fragrance. I don't think they're going to tell you to stop wearing it. And it's very pleasing. I don't know about compliments. I've said that before and I've said it again. I do not do fragrance reviews for compliments. I, that 
that that's another area altogether. I don't dabble in that, and I'm not interested in doing fragrance reviews based on compliments. So, and I don't buy fragrances based because of compliments. No, I get them because I like the smell. And this was an online blind buy, and I'm very glad I picked it up about two years ago. So you get that amazing vanilla sandalwood, that tonka bean. Uh, I don't get the chestnut, but you get the cinnamon. To my nose, I get the cinnamon and the lavender and that pineapple. It's not pineapple dominant. You would think that because pineapple is a top note to be pineapple dominant. No, it is not. It, uh, it settles after a couple of minutes. But that uh, jasmine, yeah, the floral just probably kicks in after about 10-15 minutes. But at the dry down, that's where it is. The strawberry, the amber, the vetiver, the vanilla, the sandalwood, and that lavender. It's just amazing. That fresh, spicy, sweet, woodiness dry down. So that's it, folks. Very simple take on this fragrance. And I have a lot more Latafa coming up over here. I'm looking more into that brand. And uh, they got some new ones. And uh, let me know if you got this or if you're looking into it. Again, keep in mind, there are three of them from this Rye Aid series over there this one i have and the other two i don't um, i don't think i'm going to pick them up one is quite enough i don't need another oud fragrance and the first one i don't know what it's cloning the silver one but this one amazing if you're looking out for a good dng k edt possibly edp alternative look into latafa rye aid lux there you go all right everybody have a, a great day ahead of you. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you when I see you. And I've got more reviews coming up. And what's playing in the background? That is a PS3 game. I know we don't play with PS3 anymore. I guess it's outdated. That's Madden NFL 12. I had it. I don't have my PS3 anymore, but I used to play a lot of that. Fine. So take care, everyone. And look into Latafa Raid Lux DNGK Alternative. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.